What is up YouTube, it's Waxel back with another video. In this video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you exactly how to live stream or record your gameplay without having an Elgato, without having a capture card. All you're gonna need is a laptop or desktop that can have the Windows 10 Xbox app on it, and you're gonna be taking your Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, and taking it over, and it's gonna show up on your computer, and all that's gonna be taken care of and done with whatever software you choose to use, whether that be what I'm using, OBS Studio, or Streamlabs OBS, you can use whichever one you'd like, or any other thing that allows you to do a display capture. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, so right now what I'm showing you is exactly what I have going. I do not have an Elgato right now hooked up using it. It is just streaming my Xbox and it's showing up on my OBS Studio. This will also work on Streamlabs. So as you can see, I have this on the right side of the screen and I have this on the left side of the screen because my monitor is on the left. So while I'm playing, I don't want to be looking way over here just to see the chat. So this don't have to be open when once you start live streaming you can just minimize this and it'll just start live streaming or recording your gameplay in the background and you can have something else on the left side if you'd like to maybe pull up a, a youtube video or something on the whichever side that this is not on but if you minimize this it's going to disappear off of this so don't do that so if i minimize it it's gone because we're capturing the display if you try to capture the window for some reason it's not acting right it's not working it's showing up a black screen so don't even worry with the window capture trust me all right now that we have it back up now you might be thinking oh i can minimize this and make it smaller well guess what is anything you do to this is going to make it different over here so if you change this size of this window you're gonna have to change it over here too so keep that in mind if you make it a certain size you're gonna have to make it that size each time or you're gonna have to redo this what we have over here and you're probably wondering okay if you're display capturing it's going to show everything right well yeah it will but not the way I have it going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my transform and I'm gonna reset my transform just to show you how we got to this point where it only shows this. So what you wanna do is you wanna select whatever you wanna crop in and then you wanna hold down the alt key. And once you hold down the alt key, you're gonna come over and just drag it in. Now just drag it in again. If I can click it. And then you just resize it to match the window as best as you can. You can get real picky with it and get it perfect if you want to. Now, also, if you do this and you notice a slight blur or anything like that, and you're already streaming at the very high quality, then you can come over and you can go to filters and you can add a sharpen. And then I usually only add 0 0.08 anymore. It's going to start to look a little crazy like you don't you don't want it to look like that that looks a little goofy so put that back to defaults close that out so that'll bring back the crispness if it's a little fuzzy now if you make this any smaller i'm gonna just show you just for the heck of it if you make this let's say for instance the small as it can go and you minimize it down there and then you bring it over here and you make it small like this Look what it does over here. It's completely blurry. And you're gonna have to zoom into that even more. That's not cool. So you're gonna have to hit Alt again and zoom all the way into it, but it's gonna look very blurry, very fuzzy. You don't wanna do that, trust me. So we're just gonna smack that back over there to the right or left, depending on what side you need it on. And that's how you do it. So after that, you can do whatever you want. You can put your overlays at the top, on the bottom. You can put your webcam on here. I cannot because I'm already using my webcam in another software to show you my face while I show you this. It's quite complicated because I'm having to show you my whole screen with another software while I'm recording my webcam with that software to show you guys my beautiful dusty face. <sighs> the things I do for you. The things I do for you. Please slam the like button because this this really took me a whole lot of different steps to do. I even almost pulled out the phone to show you my screen when I realized just use another software to do it. Man, it's, it's just it's been an ordeal. I've started and ended this video like a thousand different times just so I can get it somewhat decent and perfect. It's probably never going to be perfect, but if you could only see the mess that I was doing at first, you'd be like, what the heck? So at this point, you can start streaming to whatever site you want to stream to. You can start recording. 
now when you're recording if you come over here you can actually um let me see as you can see right here it's streaming out like 10,000 bit rate it's not even doing too much high you know what i'm saying and it's dropping down some so you can choose your bit rate to match this if you're recording like maybe do like 12,000 or 11,000 as you can see is the max so therefore you're not making the file too big for no reason but when you're streaming your bit rate that you stream out from obs with that's going to be defined by your internet speed as far as your upload if your upload is low you're not going to be able to do 10 megabits it's not going to work 10 megabits is the max that they suggest you use on mixer and on youtube twitch unless you're an affiliate is capped at 6000 bit rate so keep that in mind recording videos as you can see it says max is 11.59 yeah 5906 so you can put it at that as far as your bit rate for recording if you'd like to because if you do anything higher it's not going to really be getting any more quality for what you're doing right now it's just not gonna it's just not so keep that in mind as well but anyway like i said this is how you can record or stream without having an ogato it's pretty quick and pretty easy it just took me a second to explain it hopefully i can trim it down and not be too long-winded about it but it does work i'm gonna put some gameplay footage at the end of it just showing what it looks like as far as the quality that you can get while doing it now keep in mind it's not going to be super duper crispy because it's only 11.5906 bit rate at the max and it's dropping down to like nine sometimes uh and then it's staying around 11.01 and so on you see it but with that being said this will get you by you can use this forever if you want to. You can use it for a little bit. You can use it till you save up to get an Elgato or a capture card. The choice is yours. But I just wanted to show you guys and gals how to get it to where you can live stream and record without having to do that right now. Well, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this video. If it helped you out, please slam the crap out of that like button. If it didn't help you out, dislike button works as well. That's cool. If you loved it, please share it with some people you know that might be interested in this or need this information because sharing is caring. And also, I'm going to have some gameplay of this exact situation, not coming from an Elgato, not coming from a Caps car. And I'm going to be showing you the quality that you can achieve with this method at the end. If you don't want to watch that, you don't have to. If you do want to watch that, cool. But anyway, till next time, I'm out. Peace. Can't keep fighting him. I ain't got no uh I ain't got no bullets.
I got quiet. I had like five kills real quick over here in retail row. <laughs> uh, that's tough.